Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel. Putting up with the pompons, I am Shantae, the mother of the three beautiful pompon sisters. In this video, we have Kalia here. So yesterday we uploaded her wash day routine and today I'm showing you how I style her hair for her school week. So these are her four styles for the week and they are perfect for school. And then I also threw in a Valentine's Day one because you know Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So stay tuned for these four gorgeous looks, products used and as well as the accessories. Let's get into it. Now, of course, before I go any further, let me invite you to hit that subscribe button right below this video. We are on the way for to 10,000 subscribers here on our channel. We're trying to reach that goal by the end of the year. If we reach it sooner, I mean, awesome. So you can help us by liking this video and sharing to all of your social media platforms. That will greatly help us in our channel growth. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, bestie. Hey, mama, hey, friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always so okay Kalia just had her hair blow dried so these are four blowout looks and I like to do this style mostly in the winter time because her hair is just a lot more manageable and I do not like doing wash and goes during the winter because I don't like sending my baby head hair out you know cold and wet it just it, it just does not sit well with me as a mother so I did two cornrows going around her ear so starting at the back and going all the way up and then I added some beads to the end this is just a cute little accent and then I'm doing four squares. I'm doing two in the back and two in the at the top. And then we're gonna take those two squares, ponytail them up, and I'm gonna twist them and turn them into bantu knots. Now, creating bantu knots are super, super easy. I love this style because it also helps protect her ends because those ends are tucked in with those bantu knots. And then when I style her hair for the next style for you know Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day I style it next, she has these nice soft uh, twists, like a twist out kind of going on from having these bantu knots in. And this style usually lasts a day or two. So of course I'm going in with my favorite shine effect edge control. I love this stuff. Smells so freaking good. And of course all of our hair products that we are using in this video as well as the hair accessories are purchased through our Amazon storefront and that link is down below in the description box. Just look for the Pom Pom Sisters hair care products and accessories and you will see a list of items that we use. So this is a day one style for, for Kalia. So I didn't add any other additional products to her hair other than what we did in her below out or wash day video. Those products are the only thing she has. And then she doesn't need a refresh because of course this is day one. But by midweek, homegirl's hair is gonna start looking dry because she has that high porosity hair. And I mean, her hair just loves hair products. But I did go in with a little bit of hair oil just on her scalp to help because it is dry season. And when I say homegirl loves oil and cream products and buttercream products, I mean that hair drinks it up, sucks it right up. It's ridiculous. So I did add a little bit more and then that is it for this style. So we're going to move on to the next one. All right, so this one's super simple, half up, half down. Every time I blow out Kalia's hair, she always wants to wear it out like this. Like her feminine urge to just walk around with blow dry hair is strong with this one, okay? But I have to talk her out of it or just plain up, just t tell her no, because when she comes back home, it's tangled up. She don't let everybody run their fingers through her hair because I mean, she just she, she's proud of her hair. I'm glad that she's proud of her hair. I'm, I'm super happy that she loves her hair because me growing up, I was not a fan of my hair. So seeing her wanting to sport all of that mane that she has, you know, go for it. But it just, it doesn't help with mommy styling week. It just causes like more issues for me. So, I compromised and allowed her to do a half up, half down. So the top, we are bantu knotting it up again. Like bantu knots are just too, they're, they're too easy. They're one of my favorite ways of doing the girl's hair. So I'm bantu knotting it, adding some pins to pin it down. And then of course we gotta add in some accessories. I can't just plain Jane it. So I'm going in with these butterfly clips that can also be purchased through our Amazon storefront. And I'm going in with the Valentine's Day colors because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I'm doing some pinks and some reds, you know, just making it a cute and 
and colorful. If you want to change up the color scheme, by all means, go for it, sis. I ain't going to stop you. So I'm adding them all in there, just kind of just decorating it, just having fun with it. And then the back is just going to be out. Oh, yeah. This style was only a one-day style because, like I said, homegirl does not like detangling so now we are on to the next day with styling so this is early in the morning and Kalia is not a morning person so you see she half dead which is fine with me because she don't do all that hooping and hollering when she half dead versus when she awake so I'm going in with a part straight down the middle all the way back and we are doing two low ponytails so I'm combing it all down adding some gel eco styler because it's very watery and it's not super thick like that edge control so it usually wears off by the next day if I plan on changing up the style. I'm using some ponytail holders and I'm securing that hair down. And then we're gonna braid it up all the way down and then add a rubber band at the end. Okay, so by day three, homegirl's hair is definitely dry drier than the Sahara Desert. So I did have to go in with some moisturizer. I went in with that Pretty Strands leave-in conditioner. And y'all saw I had that hair oil first thing, okay? Because her scalp was already trying to flake up on me, all right? I, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just one of those battles with Kalia. We're going to do a crown braid, and that's where we're just going to take these two braids and wrap them around the front of her hair to kind of create this, like, goddess, princess, crown, queen. I don't know, but I just love it. It just looks, like, royale. It just gives off, you know, majesty. So, I'm pinning these down to the other side of the ponytail with some rubber bands and some pins, securing it. And we're going to do the same thing with the second one. I crisscross them over. You know, just to create a cute little, like, design up there in the front. And then I'm going to take some gold little jewelry things. I have no clue what's the proper name for those things. But I see them all the time for braids and locks. But I'm going to add those into her braids. We're going to also fluff out the braid. Oh, I forgot about that. I apologize. We're going to fluff out that braid and make it thick and juicy looking. So it just, I mean, it just looks right. Royale, your majesty, okay? She just, she's giving me queen vibes right now. All right, so here we are on the last style of the week. So I created four um, ponytails, you know, there they are right there. And there's a part down the middle. So there's four ponytails on each side of her head. And we're gonna do a bubble braid, okay? So these are from my mamas who are not great at corn rolling. And I'm not great at corn rolling because Kalia has way too much hair for me to try to corn roll two big cornrows into her head. Y'all see how thick that mess is? And y'all see my little tiny fingers? Can't handle it, okay? I'm not even gonna lie to you. So this is a much easier and much manageable way to create like a two braid kind of style, right? All right, so um, once we create, we connecting, we're just connecting the dots here. Connect the dots, fluff it out, make it a nice little poodle puff. There we go, little bubble braid, poodle puff braid. I don't know which one you call it, but I've seen them called both. And then we're gonna continue this down the entire shaft of her hair until we get to the end and then once I get to the end I'm going to just braid it up because once we get to the end it becomes very uneven from how you know the hair just it won't you know so anyways braid it up add some cute little beads I decided to go with red because again Valentine's Day you know got to keep the theme here and then we're going to secure those beads so I decided to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see how I secure the beads I thought this was like common knowledge but I did get somebody to ask me how I secure the beads to my child's hair and I just really I have have to realize that not everybody knows how to do these things I I assumed and I apologize so I bought these cute little rose hair clips y'all like ain't they cute all right that is also in the description box click that link honey shop those hair accessories so I decided to add these in and homegirl look like a flower girl we like we about to go to somebody's winter wedding okay now um I didn't have enough to do the entire like bubble braid but it was just something missing once I added those red roses. So I decided to take some red hair ties and add those in between where those rubber bands are holding the bubble braids together. And it looks so much more completed. I just, like, it, I, I love it. I love it. And that's it. That is it for her three, her four, I'm sorry, her four looks. Here's just a little small review on what we did in this video. Thank you guys for joining us on another one. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video to all of your social media platforms. Help us on the way to 10,000 subscribers. And we will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.